When I was a girl, my father chopped off my hands. He told me the devil made him do it. He said I mistook you for an apple tree. You are so pink and white. I screamed in torment just as he did when he realized what the fuck he'd done. Blood dripped from my branches and pooled at my roots. Eventually the stumps healed, but I could no longer care for myself or for my father as I had since I was a small girl. He said, forgive me, my daughter. I will care for you. I'm rich now. The devil paid me well for those hands of yours. He uses them to cook his meals, clean his house, and make him come. Now you will have everything you ever wanted. But I decided I had to leave. He had chopped off my hands after all, even if it was the devil's fault. How do you live with that? My own father. I ventured out into the world with a sack thrown over my shoulder. I walked for days. At night I tossed the sack on the ground and lay on my belly, pulling bits of food out with my teeth. I dipped my mouth in streams and drank. It was hard to balance on the bank without falling in. If I fell in, which I often did, I bathed in the icy waters. And then I rolled in the leaves to dry off and fell asleep, shivering with my head on the sack. My body ached from the chill water as deep in my bones as marrow, the cold night air. And soon my food would run out. Eventually I came to an overgrown gated garden surrounded by a moat of brackish water. Through the bars I saw a pear tree dripping with swelling golden fruit. My mouth watered and I fell to my knees choking on my saliva, staring up at those pears that had grown from small white blossoms. But how could I get across the moat and through the gate? It's really difficult to be a person, especially when you don't have hands because your father chopped them off. As I knelt there weeping with desire for those pears, I watched the moat evaporate and the gate open. I was able to enter the garden and eat the pears from the low-hanging branches of the tree. It was as if an angel were feeding me, a tall angel with deep-set blue eyes and white wings and a big phallus full of nectar. Satiated, I lay down among the foliage and fell into a deep sleep.